Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to be telling you how you can get bot lobbies here inside of Fortnite Chapter 2 Remix. Before we get into it guys, I would like to let you guys know that I will be gifting subscribers here on my channel, whether that be an item shop skin or the brand new battle pass. If you'd like the chance to be gifted guys, all you need to do is leave a like, subscribe, put on channel notifications, head on over to the Fortnite item shop guys and use code logic we are getting so close to 20,000 subscribers so make sure to subscribe guys if you are new but guys let's just get straight into it of course snoop dogg is here in the item shop we've got a brand new battle pass we're in a brand new season of chapter 2 remix let me know what do you think of the season down below if you have played it i haven't played it yet but i'm really looking forward to because of course this is the map um, I've seen some videos on it. It does look really cool. If you guys also do want to find out the best OG graphics for this season, I made a video on that earlier on, so make sure to go and check that out. But now let's speak about how you can actually get bot lobbies. Bot lobbies are basically lobbies filled with not real players that are just easier to kill to help you get victory royales easier. Obviously, it's better at the start of the season because you can win and complete all of your challenges to level up your battle pass. There's a few way you can there's a few ways you can actually get bot lobbies, and the first one is playing at a later time. For example, as I'm recording this video, it is about 6 p.m. Um, and the season released earlier about midday, probably. So of course. And of course, it's a Saturday also. It's like a prime time that people are playing Fortnite right now. In fact, I can actually check. There are 1.5 million players playing Battle Royale. And 600,000 playing Zero Build. 700,000 playing uh, Ranked. Then, of course, you've got some people playing Reload. So, basically, so many people are on. And it basically makes all the lobbies harder because everyone is getting on, everyone's trying to get their first win. It's probably better playing a little bit later in the day when less people are on. For example, if you're in the UK or EU like me, item shop resets at midnight. It's probably a good idea to play around that time, of course, if you're allowed to um, or if you want to choose to. Because at midnight, of course, a lot less people are going to be playing than 6pm, which is right in the middle of the day, which is like prime time for playing games, I guess. So playing it later could lead to easier opponents. And if Fortnite can't fill up the lobbies with real people, they tend to put in bots. Even if there's so many people online, they will still fill the game up with bots. So even if you play at a prime time, like now 6pm for example, you will still get bots in your lobbies. The second way actually could involve you switching regions. Of course, switching regions is good and bad. Good because you can get easier lobbies, but bad because you will lag. For example, if I were to switch to Oceana, my ping would be terrible, 276, but the lobbies would be very easy because typically Oceana lobbies are known to be probably the easiest along with maybe Asia. And because of how Australian time works, um, of course, they're on the other side of the world. So the time is different. So I've just searched on Google right now. Like I said, it's 6 p.m. as I'm recording this video in the UK. Currently in Australia, it is 5 a.m. So if I were to go on Australia servers and deal with the lag, I could be playing against a lot of bots because I don't suspect too many people are playing Fortnite at 5am. I mean, I could be wrong, but obviously in Australia, it's like ahead of us. So they would be Sunday 5am. I don't know about you guys, but I just don't think too many people would be playing Fortnite at 5am. And the next way, guys, you can actually get bot lobbies is just playing regular and the bots will occur. Trust me, guys, even though there are 1.5 million players playing the game right now, bot lobbies can still happen very frequently. If you have watched 
any of your favorite Fortnite YouTubers, you will see that they always get bots in their lobbies, no matter when they're playing, how they're playing. So, because if you guys don't know, Fortnite just fill up the lobbies with bots for some reason. I guess it's good and bad. Bad because you kind of want to play against real players to like test your skill and have a bit more fun, I guess. But then in a way, it could be quite good because it's like a free kill and it could lead to you getting quite an easy win. There is also another thing you can do and that involves you playing um, zero build or like solo squads or solo duo, solo trio. I can't, it doesn't actually let me toggle it. Um, I don't know how, if I go to select maybe. Here we go. More bots tend to occur in squads and trios. So if you were to go, let's say you were playing with your friend, you could go into duo squads. So it's just you two and squads. And there's more chance of you getting bots in a squads game than a solo game. Um, that is just how Fortnite has been for the past few years. Uh, squads and trios have had the most bots. Duos have a few, but it's more trios and squads. So if you were to queue into these, there's more chance that you run into bots while you're trying to uh, hunt down the win. And guys, on that note, zero build. There's a lot more bots in zero build um, than regular battle royale. I don't know exactly why this is. I don't know if it's something Fortnite has done because zero build is obviously you can't build um, and build you can build. I know that sounds really stupid, but I don't know why else Fortnite would do it. But zero build does tend to have a bit more bots, um, maybe because they are probably easier to program because on build and when you find bots you know how sometimes they'll like turn around and place like a wooden wall or they'll just like build something really weird whereas zero build obviously it's probably easier to program because they just don't build at all those are the many ways i said in this video about how you can actually get bot lobbies let me know down below in the comments if you're actually going to try any of these and let me know if they work also guys, let me know down below in the comments if you've actually won a game yet. Like I said, I haven't even played the game yet, so I haven't won, but I'm really looking forward to playing. Let me know also what do you think of the season so far along with the Battle Pass and of course the item shop with the brand new Snoop Dogg skin. I do want to appreciate all of you guys for the support. Like I said, we are getting very close to 20,000 subscribers. I do appreciate all of the support. Make sure to enable channel notifications, guys, so you never miss a video, especially because over these next few weeks, I will be pumping out a lot of, a lot of videos because, of course, the season just came out and it is really hype. Then, of course, in a month's time, we are getting Chapter 6. But, guys, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day, guys, and peace out.